Yo, yo, guys, RDS here, back again um, for another um, preview. Um, apologies for the delay in this. Uh, Shivin out soon, and I've just been incredibly busy. But I do want to cover the AFC Asian Cup. That's obviously starting today. You're going to get this today. Um, and obviously, it's going to be kicking off. It's going to be hopefully be an amazing tournament. Both the Asian uh, Cup and the AFCON are going on at the same time. And I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot of watch longs and I've released a lot of reactions um, to um, um, to these games. So what I wanted to do in this first video, before we get into it anyway, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, you want to X and smash the notification button, etc. etc. You get it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. But anyway, um, what I've done is I basically pre-filled. I'm not going to go in and discuss all the results that I put down here, as you can see in the screen to my right. Um, Otherwise, this video is going to be 40 minutes um, and the reasons why. And I don't have that time. I want this to be quite bite-sized. So I'm just basically going to just give you who I think is going to qualify from each group from group to A to F. Give you my third place teams, four third place teams I think will go through the top two. Um, and then who I think will be um, or the top three people I think will be the top uh, top goal scorers for tournament and round it off. Um, so... Basically, so obviously going to group stage predictions. Um, so if we start first with obviously Group A. Group A with Qatar, um, Tajikistan, uh, Lebanon, um, and China. Uh, and as you can see, I think, you know, Qatar hosting is, I know they had a poor performance um, at the World Cup and she bought them in a group. But I do think with the form of Qatar going in, I think Qatar will top this group. I think it'll be a clean sweep. I think second place you have to look at, you know, I would say, now, put this disclaimer here. Am I an Asian football expert? No, I am not. And I'm willing to learn. And so let me know in the comments as to what you think um, about my predictions. But I think that Tajikistan will have will be uh, will be in a relatively comfortable second place, um, followed by Lebanon. Um, and China, all I can say about China is that I they don't look good. <laughs> Results wise, don't look good. I would be for me, it was between China and Lebanon for third, and I just think that Lebanon have a bit more about them than the, than the Chinese do, um, which always amazes me for a nation of a billion people that they can't really produce a functional um, football team. So I see China being um, bot bottom in, in this group. Um, moving on to Group B, um, again, um, you've got Australia, Uzbekistan, and Syria, and India. Again, I think that Australia, I think convincingly will go well. I say convincingly, Uzbekistan, I think, are no slouches. And I think I said one of the games I think Uzbekistan and Australia play in the last game, I think that actually might even be a tie. Um, so I think, uh, but I think that Australia will go through probably just on, on, on GD goal difference as group leaders, with Uzbekistan being second. I think Syria will then come um, for just given the fact that I just think India much like China, but probably worse so, um, are, are probably going to finish bottom here. Um, I think Syria will probably beat India in the final game uh, and they'll come into third place. Um, so Australia, Uzbekistan, Syria and India are my predictions um, for Group B. Um, now moving on to Group C, um, here you have, I, I, I thought this was intriguing, for me, Iran a definite shift by the top of the group. Iran are always a powerhouse um, in these tournaments, and even in the World Cup, the difficult team to beat. Um, so I think Iran will top this group and probably win all their games going through here. Um, now, the last three was interesting. I I, I think I'm right here. Um, and like I said, correct me in the comments, but I think that I think UAE coming a, 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 a close second, I think, is reasonable. Um I think that they probably have enough to beat the likes of Hong Kong and Palestine. And then it's where it gets tricky between Palestine and Hong Kong. Um, it could go either or. Um, they're playing last. I think it probably will end up in being a tie, depending on how other things go. Um, I'm not sure where it will go. Um, but I certainly don't see Palestine or Hong Kong getting ahead of UAE or Iran. Um, so I made my prediction that Palestine will probably come third, but on GD, really, as I don't see them beating UAE or Iran, and likewise with Hong Kong. So that's my predictions for Group C, everybody. Um, going to Group D, um, uh, a challenging group. 
Um, you have Japan, Iraq, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Um, again, I think Japan, much like Australia, well, not Australia, but um, sort of like Australia, but also like South Korea and Qatar, I think they're going to have no issues qualifying from these groups. Um, Japan are arguably the tournament favorites going into this tournament alongside likes of South Korea. You could probably put in, and we'll talk about that later, who I think the favorite the favorites of the tournament are. But, um, uh, you know, Japan, I think, will give you a clean sweep. I think they'll come to beat Vietnam in their first game, which hopefully we'll be doing a watch long, by the way. Um, Iraq, who are difficult to beat and who, you know, not that long ago destroyed Indonesia in the group stage qualifiers. I think they'll come comfortable second. And if it comes to be an Indonesia versus Vietnam, um, I think that they will... Um, I, I think I think Vietnam could get a draw in Indonesia. I think they could, but the Vietnamese preparation was tournament, from what I gather, has not been particularly great. Um, I think Indonesia, Indonesia Indonesia have been looking better recently, but I just I don't think there'll be enough for Iraq or Japan though. So yeah, third and fourth in my personal opinion. Um, going to Group E now, um, as you can see, Korean Republic. Again, full sweep, Korean public. Bahrain, I think, is, is, is second place. Malaysia, I think, again, a team that are looking a bit better, I think, compared to previously. Um, but I'm not sure whether that will be enough to overcome Korean Republic, let alone um, so like, well, Bahrain, let alone Korean, Korean Republic. Um, so I think that this, you know, I think that this stands. Korea first, Bahrain second, Malaysia third, and Jordan um Jordan last is my person. But again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Finally, uh, finally for Group F, um, Saudi Arabia. And I think one of the things about this is, is, is that in each group, there's a clear, in most of these groups, there's a clear favorite for me to top the group. You know, there's a clear favorite. Um, Qatar, Australia, slash Uzbekistan, Iran, Japan, Korea. And in this case, for me, Saudi Arabia. Um, Saudi Arabia, I think, We'll again have a clean sweep. Kyrgyzstan actually are looking um, better. Um, for me, it's going to be between Kyrgyzstan and, and Oman, I think. Um, and I actually think that Kyrgyzstan will probably pinch second, but I think it will probably be on GD again. Um, uh, Thailand, much like Vietnam's preparation for them, I think has been awful. Um, I don't know how they're going to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, um, but I don't see them qualifying in my in my personal opinion. Um, that's just how it is. Um, so those are my predictions for the groups. Um, following following that, um, who do I think? Who I don't think? I just go back to the predictions. Who do I think is going to be the tournament favorites for this competition? Um, and it's got to obviously be between I would say the top six between Qatar, Australia, Iran, Japan, Korea. And Saudi Arabia. For me, those are the top six favorites. If I had to narrow those down, I would probably say my top three picks for tournament favorites would be um, Japan, Korean Republic, and Saudi Arabia. I think those would be my three um, top uh, top picks. Um, people still remember. I know Saudi Arabia didn't qualify from the group um, in the World Cup, but their performance against Argentina was some phenomenal. And with the investment in the Saudi League, of the good home ground talent. I don't you can underestimate these guys. Iran will obviously be a difference between Australia be difficult to beat as well and Qatar at home. But I just think that the likes of Japan and Korea are going to be too strong. And I think Saudi has some, something to say about it. So those would be my three um picks for um who are the tournament favorites. Um now following on from that, if we just go on to who I think are the four third place teams, and I think this automatically generates it, so you can see it here now. Um so the top four. I think that are going to join, obviously, the teams in the group will be Oman, Syria, Malaysia, and Lebanon, with, I think, Palestine, Indonesia, um, to miss out. Um, and I think that's, I, th I think that's fair. Um, I think these, these will be strong enough um, to go through, in my personal opinion. And as you can see, based on my predictions in the knockout stage, you have Tajikistan versus UAE, um, who, and then, who I think I think Tajikistan will win. Japan versus Oman. Japan wins that. Australia level. I think Australia wins that. Saudi Bahrain. I think Saudi wins that. 
Iran, Syria. I think Iran wins that. Korea, Iraq. I think Korea probably edges that. Um, Qatar, Malaysia. Qatar, I think, win that. And Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, I think Uzbekistan win that. Um, and then obviously we go into your, uh, your, your your final from there. So it will be probably Saudi Arabia versus Australia, which will be interesting. Saudi versus Australia would be an interesting game, I think. And then Japan versus Uzbekistan. Japan will probably still win that. So Japan will be in the semis. Um, Saudi Arabia, Australia. I'm going to give it to Saudi. So Saudi, Japan, I think semi-final. Um, you have Iran will play uh, Korea. And I think Korea will get through. Uh, and then Qatar, Uzbekistan. Uh, I'm going to go say Qatar. So I think semi-final is South Korea, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia, um, Japan. And then I think you get Japan, Korea. That's what I think. A Japan, Korea final. That's what I think you get. That's that's my prediction there for how it the whole thing runs off. Um, finally, as we just round off this, this video, um, top scorers. Top scorers. Who do I think is going to be the the top scorer? Uh, well, not group stage predictions. Sorry. <laughs> top scorer. Who do I think is going to be the top scorer for the um, for the competition? Top three for me. I think. Um, mm, or top five. Let's see. Yeah, let's say top five. Let's say top five. Top five for me. Um, I think are in no particular order. Obviously, Son Hong Min, South Korean Spurs player, good form. Um. I think uh, Mehdi uh, Tarami, uh, who plays for Porto, the Iranian, um, who I think um, is, is uh, one of the man's top scorers. Obviously, He Chan Huang for, uh, for Wolves of South Korea is having a brilliant season at Wolves. You've got to think about him. Um, uh, I think Almoraz Ali, who plays for Qatar, um, could also be a shout, especially if Qatar go far in the tournament. And a surprising one for Japan, I think. Um, Ayase um, Ueda, I haven't pronounced him right, apologies, who plays the final, I think could be a surprise for a uh, top score of the tournament. Um, and it's having is having a decent spell at fine final um and with his national team as well. So those would be my five. If I had to pick one, it'd be between um um Ueda uh, and Son and possibly uh uh Taremi. Taremi, those would be my top three, I think. Right, that's it, guys. Remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, and smash the notification button. Let me know if you want more content. I apologize, like I said, I'm very new to Asian Cup, but I really want to cover it. I really want to learn more. Uh, and I'll be doing, I'll be watching games and doing match reactions and watch alongs and different things to really get involved in this tournament, uh, which I hope will be a massive success. And uh, all the best um, to everyone, every nation uh, participating. May the best team win. Have a nice day, guys. And cheers. Peace.